Black Nation TV Extended Play. My name is Andrew, and today I've got one of the biggest superstars in the country. What's going on, homeboy? It's good, my kid. Yeah? Sure. My name is Max Mufanaga Makubani, in case you don't know, one of Soweto's generals. You think? That's what's up. Mm -hmm. It's been a minute. Huh? It's been a minute. And we doubled this guy. Putting in work. <laughs> yeah? There's no other way, there's no other way. You went underground. What happened? Hey, man. A lot of things were happening at the time, man. I went underground because I was battling legal issues and yeah. all types of things, you know, at the time. So yeah. I had to kind of like take a young sabbatical for the music. I was yeah. too frustrated. You know? yeah. I wasn't even writing. I didn't do anything. Like, yeah. like two years and a half, like almost yeah. two years. Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing anything. And then I decided one time, like, you know what? Let me give this thing one more try yeah. and see what's going to happen. And yeah. I did. And, Things are happening. So yeah. happening. Okay, so before we actually take it to what you know happened like a few months or a few years back, yeah. I mean, let's go way, 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 way back. I mean, where it all started. Yeah. I mean, how did this whole thing come about? You know, this rap thing. Yeah, man. Oh man, yo, I started. Let me see. Um, I fell in love with hip hop in high school. I went to. Uh, uh, natural sex appeal. Yeah, you might know it as the National School yeah. of Arts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I went there. And, um, I met a couple of friends there. I met yeah. um, uh, who's this guy? It's P. We're from uh, Spotter Camp. Yeah. Master Sip. Yeah, went to the same high school together. You know? Nice. And back then, obviously, I mean, you know, when we were classy and yeah. everything, I don't feel like I'm shaman cafe, like a biscuit. It's completely different. It's a completely different yeah. thing, you know. So uh, my friends, uh, my friends were rapping, you know, and I didn't know anything about rap. And Master Sip, I remember one time we're chilling in the in the old oh, Stella, like it's yeah. like yo, you wanna know how to rap? Okay, cool, here's how it's done. You rhyme in English, just show me a few things. Then after that, I wrote my first verse. Okay, and then you know I spread it for the for, for the for yeah. the guys. They're like, yo, your first verse is actually strong for your yeah. first for a guy writing for his first time. Like, oh, well, I take care of mine, you know. <laughs> and then from then on, it's just like the love just grew, and then yeah. um, we started rapping together, everything, you know. And the love just grew, and then obviously, then that's when I started gaining my confidence. Yeah. Like, I, okay, cool. I was like, 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 okay, cool. Let me get in one of these sessions. Let's see what's good. Because yeah. we used to battle in high school, you know? Nice. And then I started going to the sessions, met a few cats. I spent my things. Some cats wanted to battle, battle, took them down, you know? And that's how my name started buzzing yeah. on the hood, you know? Okay, no started buzzing, buzzing. And then during that time, uh, Pro was also there. He was yeah. like the king of this shit, you know? Yeah. And uh, we met. And uh, he like, was like, Love for yeah. what I just did, and I was also giving him love. You know, I was like, nice. oh, man, you're incredible, you're yeah. next level, you know. Only to find out that we actually live almost like the same road, we just separated by one big street, yeah. you know. And I was like, okay, pro. And then obviously, me and him we connected from then, yeah. and uh, you know, started the rapping, is yeah, the rest is history yeah. type of effort. I mean, uh, how, how long has it been now? How long has it been? Oh, it's been forever, man. I'm not sure I'm in a decade in this game. Or yeah. Mm, it's, been, it's been forever, That's man. Experience. I mean, I dropped, I dropped my first mixtape. When was it? 06? Yeah. That was like 06 or it's, it's what 12, was it? 014, right? Yeah. So, it's been a couple of years, like that's when I dropped my first official thing. But actually I had another song before yeah. that. Back in the day, I don't even remember that Harambe mixtape. Yeah, yeah. I had a song there in between the Ulums and I was doing it, Bad Boy T. There was all types of people. Like, all specs there on the yeah. mixtape. I had a song out there, Legends, Poverty. Yeah. That was like my first actual taste of like the industry. Like, oh, okay, cool, I made it on the tape. Back you in know, the yeah, and that's and that, days, yeah. Yeah, wife yeah. days. And that, that's what actually like made me believe I could, I could do Make this work. Because yeah. you must understand, I was, uh, I mean, in varsity, I started this rap thing properly in varsity. Yeah. I was starting to be a lawyer. I was doing my thing, you know, it's yeah. cool. I was passing well, but then the hip hop bug just got it. Yeah. Mike, I mean, I mean, you did NSA, obviously, that is just like here in Brown from Tea. Yeah. And after that, you, for varsity level, yeah. you yeah. wanted to, to, to study law. I mean, yeah. that's, I mean, you really are in this shit. 
<laughs> well, yeah, you know, I love it, you know. And yeah. also, I guess being a rapper takes a bit of you know, smartness, a bit of intelligence, because yeah. I mean, you, you, you are actually, you, 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 we are still poets, you know, we get witty with the words, yeah. we, 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 we write metaphors, we write, you know, nice schemes, you know, it's still, you know, it's very much the poetry, you know. Yeah. It's just now it's about the content of what we're yeah. saying. There's a lot of intelligence in it, yeah. Yeah, you have to, I guess, to be good, you know. Yeah. I, I reckon, I, I figure, but most of the rappers I love and I watch, yeah. and who I love listening to, they're yeah. very smart. It's like, you can hear that, okay, this this took some, this this took you know, a bit of genius to construct these yeah. words, you know yeah. what I mean? And that's why, like, the work ones, I can pick it up. Like, <laughs> okay, cool, you got a nice flow, but the words don't engage you know it's cool and, and that pretty much leads me to my next question right yeah. so now uh, who are some of those cats that you really think you know they're pretty dope and that i love from uh, from internationally locally yeah. i Both. mean internationally man I, I mean i respect a guy like jay-z you know i, I feel jay-z is one of the finest to ever do it greatest yeah. of all time because he did it he did it like for me, I, when we have an argument with my friends, because we all have like favorites yeah. in hip hop. Some yeah. people say Biggie, some yeah. people say Nas. I love all of them. Yeah. You understand but me? Jay Z sticks out. Jay Z sticks sticks out because he's the guy that did it. Like he, he broke even like you know the hip hop boundaries. Yeah. You know what I mean? He he you can kind of relate to his story. You know, he grew up with no dad. That's why like for me, I can relate to his story. Yeah. Growing up in the hood, no dad, living with moms. Yeah. You know, I can relate to some. You know, to some level, you know, trying to make it out the hood, trying to you know make your life better. Yeah, you know, I relate to some level, and, and I mean to have like 14 number one albums. You know, I crush work. Elvis in his blue suede shoes. You know what I mean? For black guy in the hood, you must understand. Crazy. Also, That's you know, being black in America, you are a minority. You know, it's not like here. Yeah, it's very different. It's different. Yeah. You know? So you know, he's very, um, for me, very inspiring. Plus, he's a very smart guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if he does the commercial choice, there's still a bit of smartness yeah. in it. Yeah. You know, um, I love him all around. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of Nas. Yeah. I'm a fan of Doomy. Out here, I think Doomy is a genius. You know, and, um, El Tito, yeah. KO. You know, AKA. You know, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of dope dudes. Uh, Kid X. Yeah. You know, Quest does famous thing. Nas, there's, there's, there's yeah. a lot of dope.